we're here at uh, CES 2015. Uh, and this looks really cool. So who are you? Hi, I'm Richard, the CEO and co-founder of Gyroptic. Gyroptic is a company that manufactured the 360 cam. We developed that uh, a year ago, and now we're showing the kit at, uh, at CES today. Did you launch on uh, some Kickstarter or yeah, something like that? Yeah, we did a Kickstarter that uh, did that on the, on the July 1st. That was our financial independence day. Uh, we did 1.4 million, so 4,000 units online, worldwide, 45% of our customers being in the US. 4,000 units are bought? Yeah. By a Kickstarter users. Bikers, yeah. How much did they pay? Uh, they pay on average three, uh, 370 uh, USD on average. Uh, the product started at 249 for the super early birds and uh, and went more. We 249 like, with the early early. Guys? Early early early. Yeah. And then uh, retail price, what's going to be? So retail price for that is going to be 499. It's uh, almost the same as a GoPro. Uh, just the big difference is capturing everything in 360. So. This is, uh, each of them has like a third of 360, 120 each? So, no, each of them is having 185 degrees, so it's actually watching backwards. The lenses are slightly tilted, so it allows us to capture everything around from top to bottom, 150 degrees, 360 degrees all around. 150? 100, no, 150, yes, from top to bottom. Right. Three eyes, three ears, three microphones. We don't only capture like surround surround video but we also capture like surround sounds we have inside also a gps gyroscope so that if you do that kind of things we stabilize the image uh, the idea is we're capturing a sphere if the sphere is not is not moving left to right then the sphere should not change do you have different mode if people wanted to move or not yes so you can take like digital still with that you can do bursts you can do like time lapse uh, video video comes in full hd so 1080p equivalent it's 2048 by 1024 30 frames per second. Uh, photo mode, it's 4K, 2K, up to 3 frames per second. You'll find exactly the same stuff you will find on a regular camera. You do have like tripod mount, you have like the micro USB. Inside, we have micro SD, we have a one hour continuous shooting. Uh, use SD, micro SD card, 64 gigabytes. That works. All right, so what's the response been here at CES? It's been great. I'm very tired. <laughs> very tired? Yeah. That's great. That's great. And uh, so it hooks up to the VR. Like this, and um, yeah. so basically any any VR headset. Yeah. So here we're using like Oculus. Uh, you can use like Google Cardboard. We have plenty. Uh, we have plenty of them. Like my uh, is making fun. This is your 360 Oculus. video recorded. Yes, it's one, one 360 degree videos we've been recording in the past. Uh, here we are in. Uh, it's speed up. Yeah, it's just this one is speed up. Yeah. Yeah, they are. This is the team actually like is having fun in a roller coaster. And actually, it's real time, real speed. So, does that mean it's 360 3D or what? No, it's not 360 3D yet. Okay. I mean, 360 degree video is already enough to be able to capture everything around you. Uh, it's pretty new. Many people that are coming at CES never saw 360 before. So, 360 is already the first step. 360 3D probably going to be the next step. You can already enjoy like regular 2D 360 degree on VR headset. That works great, and it's uh, it's a very if you, nice. If experience. you want a 360 3D, you would need the double the amount of camera, or is not yeah, to do with depends. that, or some other, something else. It's more computation. It's different design. Uh, Let's go around here. So people are trying out the VR, and uh, you're showing a, a ball here. Yeah. So here we have like the. Who make this technology? So that's one of our friends, uh, they're based in UK. They do uh, 360 degree video projectors and that's one, uh, one device that we showcase here. It's perfect for what we do, we capture a sphere. Well, guess what, they have a spherical screen and that's what we need. And uh, YouTube 360 is coming out. Yeah, we announced that on Sunday. Uh, what it's going to be big. You announced? We announced it, they allowed us to announce. Yeah, we announced YouTube. They allowed us to announce that on, on Sunday. Uh, they confirmed, which is going to be great. It's going to transform our users into ambassadors. It means you can take 360 degree videos, upload them to YouTube in 360 and show your world in 360 to everyone. So it's not about capturing your life in the frame anymore like you're doing with me, with your, with your camera. It's about capturing everything around. It's one movie, one million story. You look at a movie in a different way, we look at it. 
that's the future. You don't have Wi-Fi built in. We do have Wi-Fi, of course. So what does it do, the Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, live streaming to the Oculus. Let's say next year you don't come here. Just send someone that goes with a camera through the through the CES, and just where you your virtual headset, you'll be able like to uh, navigate the CES the same way you would be there. How long is the battery life? One hour continuous shooting. But there's micro USB. Micro USB. You so can, you can have battery pack. Yeah, you can have battery pack. You can change the battery. I can film the whole day. If I you want. can film the whole day. Definitely. I can stream the whole day to you YouTube 360 live. Oh, we do have also like a light bulb attachment. So if you want to do streaming, just plug the light bulb attachments on the back, and it does get the power from the from the socket, and it streams in 360 all around. 24, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you know. How big is the battery inside capacity? Uh, it's uh, it's 1.3 uh, uh, ampere, so okay. 1,300. 1, yeah. 1, so if I have a 12,000 external battery, I can last for eight hours. Yeah. And then I can live stream through Wi-Fi through the phone yep. to YouTube yep. Live 360. You got it. So people can see, they can look around yep. the whole day. Up, down, all around. But all uh, there's no data connection by cable, only Wi-Fi, right? Only Wi-Fi. So we do have attachments, same thing. I'm doing something. Yeah. I'm opening the product. So opening Is that the secret or no? No, not at all. Oh, let's see. Battery. Well, that one is secret. Normally it's closed. But here we have like other attachments. Here we have the usage, which is like GoPro-like. One of the one that has a network cable, RG45, that allows you, for example, to do real-time streaming, but in a steady, in a steady way. It's using like power of internet to get the power. Like in a place like at CS, where Wi-Fi is completely jammed by the number of devices that are streaming, you would definitely prefer to do streaming over a cable. Well, guess what? That's what we have. So where do you connect the cable? So let's go. Let's go. Oh, really? Let me show you. You have it showing. This and this, exactly the same product, just the usage that is different. Here you're having like Ethernet, so power of our Ethernet base. It's exactly the same base as the one that has USB, just it's different connector. So this comes as an accessory, that's what you use, live concert, security, anytime, anything you want. And good bandwidth. Yeah, and good bandwidth. Same stuff here. If you want to get like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or set up a, a temporary home video surveillance on any cam or anything like that, well, just use the light bulb attachment. It's basically like an iPhone charger taking like 110 volts, charging it to 5 volts. So uh, every dining room table needs uh, to connect this instead of the lamp. Yeah, for example. Or add another cable next to the lamp. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, you can just record in 360 every single dinner, the family, yeah. and watch it again forever. And watch it again, live it stream. All right. One thing, like this is waterproof, 30 feet, 30 minutes. The issue if when you go to the swimming pool, you put goggles, right? Well, your camera does need it too. Reason why we're doing stitching inside. If you want to preserve actually like the field of view and not having like any stitching line, we develop those goggles that you put on your camera that will actually preserve the field of view. So little goggles. Goggles. And they go how deep? They go 30 feet. 30 feet, that's like 10 meters. Yeah. What's going on in this one? This one is the same one as this one, it's just like the blue version. Nice. So, uh, optical image stabilization, that's the yep. next, right? Next, optical image stabilization. I'm capturing it's a It's not in there, no? It is. There's optical no, image? No, not, not optical. It's digital. It's digital, but there's no need to do optical. We capture everything in, in, in a sphere. So the sphere is, is all around. If I do that... It stays. The sphere is still there. The, and it's the sphere did not move. If I do that, the sphere moves. How can you do that in, uh, in uh, hardware? Well, can we look inside again? Do you want to talk about it a little bit? This is French magic. But uh, so you have uh, some really good design in the CPU. Yes. SOC is good. No, we use we we use we use our own well, our own IP, our own stitching IP. It's uh, FPGA based. Uh, you have an FPGA in there? Yeah, we do. All right, that's cool. Very tiny. So uh, that's powerful. And, uh, it's very tiny, little power, low memory. But why is there a display on the side? That's not true, no? Yes, there is a display. You even included display. So like an display, LED, LED. LED display. So it's a little bit like Nike Fuel Bond. You've seen that. LED display comes here. Let's me turn, turn on the camera a little bit. Yeah. And as soon as it's done, I'll show you. So it boots up some kind of Linux or no? What yeah, is runs Linux. Linux. It runs Linux. Yeah. But it looks so nice, like small, uh, cool design, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 360. Here you go. Let me see. One second, one second. Nice. So, uh, 
360, why does it show 360? Because now it's booting, it's coming to 360 degrees, that's what it says. It's a 360 cam, so... What else can it show? I don't know if that one goes after, I think it's just the demo going to 360. So it just shows 360? Just shows for this one. Knife? Shows the battery knife. Oh, no, that's the real one actually. So it can go to video, photo mode, burst, time lapse, settings, go back to video. Let's say I want to go to photo. Here's the moustache. The moustache is for lift drivers. So oh, uh, that's it? because we're French. You're French, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what's your background? Chemistry. You, chemistry? Yeah. Is this the first consumer tech? No, Business? it's uh, how can I say? I did chemistry. Chemistry is everything about like taking some stuff you know, some stuff you know, mix it together to make some stuff you unknow. Well, guess what? Creating a 360 degree device like that is a bit the same. You know camera, you know how to do 360 degree. Well, how to make a 360 camera? Well, you try. You fail, you fail, you try, you try, until you succeed. How long time did it take to make this one? Twelve months. Twelve months. Yeah. So you are fast, guys. Yes. So that means uh, when did you launch the Kickstarter? So we launched the Kickstarter in May. We started developing this product on on uh, January 15th last year. Uh, we had prototypes working on the May 20th when we launched the campaign, and we started mass production. We were about to ship in Q1. So. And there's many samples on the web. People can see. Yeah. And uh, it's great uh, shape. The stitching is perfect. Stitching is perfect and it's getting better and better. I mean, so that means you will update the software. We do update the software. We do our own lenses. We do our own electronics. We do our own firmware. We do our own mechanics. Uh, everything is homemade. I often say like, lock us during six months into a room. Just give us pizza and beer, and we'll get a device out of it. Is the stitching uh, dynamic based on what's in front of the camera, or is it just? A geometric in the middle of both cameras. It's a brainless camera, but that has intelligence. So That's it will kind of choose the right camera for the right object. It's no, it's I can't say. Kind of. All right, but uh, looking forward also to the 4K version, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Because uh, see you next year. That's gonna be cool. Okay. <laughs>